Hi guys, this is Linus the Mrs. and welcome back to my channel. So now I'm going to do the best of beauty of 2013 for um, higher end products. And um, the I will link my drugstore down below. And the first thing on the list is foundation. And the higher end foundation that worked for me was the Match Master by MAC. And my color is 6.0. This was very easy for me to blend. Um, it would definitely be a repurchase for me. It was. It was just. It has a pump, so it's sanitary. It's this. This was hands down um, what works for me. Like I have other stuff that I didn't even have to bother to even open because this worked for me. So that is that. And then the next one is concealer. So for concealer, it would go to the. MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer and my color is NC42. Um, it doesn't give me a highlight. It's just, it just conceals. But um, it does work. Um, I know some people complain about maybe too much came out. I mean, I could not be using it right. For me, it seemed like not enough came out, so I have to use two pumps. But that's the one that worked, that, that worked for me. Then as far as primer goes, I would have to give it to Smashbox um, Photo Finish Foundation Primer. It does have a SPF of 20 in it. And I have like several of the their small um their small sizes. So this works. This is this is good. And it's very easy to use. It doesn't take a whole lot. So I like this. And then the next one is primer, not primer, powder. So for powder, I would have to give it to the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Natural. And my color is medium dark. So that works for me. Then the next one is eyeliner. So I don't really have a lot of high-end eyeliners. But the two that I do have are from... I do, I do have some, but I just hadn't been using them, so I can't tell you if I really, really like them. But the ones that I have had a chance to use are the Urban K 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencils. And I have um, Lust and $19.99. So I have actually used the purple one um, to kind of like give, give, um... You know, like a, a pop of color in my waterline. So, they stay in the waterline, but they are hard to get out. Alright, so the next one is eyeshadow. For me, I like Urban Decay eyeshadows. So, I have to give it to these. And then, I also recently been loving my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and I like these and also I like the Lorac Laroche eyeshadows too but I've been using these a lot and I have to kind of like break myself away from using the Urban Decay palettes because it seemed like I was Every outlook that I did, I was using it. Just it to me, it seems like you know, once I get kind of comfortable with a palette, I'll just use just that palette. And I have to break myself away and use another palette to create a it's always a similar look, but then it'll be just a different palette. So I like those. Like, I, I you just can't go wrong with Anastasia, Lorac, and Urban Decay eyeshadows eyebrow for eyebrow it is again my all time favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil I have a backup I love it I'm still on my first one love it then the next one is blush for me it would have to be the the bomb blushes in Cabana Boy I really like and the other one is Frat Boy, which is a like a really soft pink, and I have a limited edition NARS Foreplay palette, which I love the NARS Orgasmin blush out of it. So that would be my choices for blushes, best of beauty. 
Then the next one is the highlighter and really the only highlighter that I can say that I really, really love and I always go to is the Gold Dust out of the Four Play palette. Love it. I love it. It looks so, so, um, exotic. This is, it's just, it's, it's, it makes you look so, like, come get me type, <laughs> like that. Then the next one on here is contour. So as far as contouring goes, I have to give it to the Smashbox Hint of Bronze. It's actually a blush, but I can contour with it. So that is that. And I'll swatch it for you. I used to use this like all the time back in the day. Not back in the day, but you know like when I first started my YouTube channel. So that would be that. And then they have the next thing on the list is lip gloss. Which I would have to give it to. Um, I like MAC Cream Sheens. Um, I like those. MAC Cream Sheens. And then, you know, I love Lip Addict glosses. And this one is in Transparent. I lo it looks like this. I talk about these all the time. And that's the applicator. I love And Transparent is kind of like one of those colors that is like universally flattering on whoever. You can put it over um, all kinds of and I wouldn't put this over dark lips but I would do it over like your pinks your nudes um love it and it just gives you like a like a um it just it kind of it how can I explain it it gives you like a kissable lip yeah that then I also like the Smashbox um, Limitless Long Wear Lip Gloss. And this color is in lim Limitless. Limitless. And I used to talk about this all the time. And then it got lost in everything else that I was using. Um, it's really pretty. They are kind of sticky, but... It doesn't bother me. For me, I feel like sticky gloss is kind of like less long. Like, I don't like my hair to get caught in them, but I um I actually kind of like prefer these stickier glosses. Then the next thing that's on the list is um, lipsticks. So, I have three that I really, really, really like. Um... The first one, I used to use this like all the time in my earlier um, YouTube videos, which is the Smashbox Leg Be Legendary Lipsticks. They are really nice. They don't, I don't really hear a whole lot on YouTube about them, but this is in the color of Melon Drama. This is, this is like, this is, was my go-to lipstick in the summertime. And it's, it's an orange color, like an orange and coral. And, um... I like him. I like him. Like him. Like him. I have a few more, but uh, this one was the one that I wore all the time, all the time. Then I also have like a mini NARS lipstick that I got in my Sephora favorites um, little box thing, and it is the NARS Dolce Vita. And some people don't like NARS lipsticks. But this one kind of made me want to explore into NARS lipsticks. It is so moisturizing, so creamy. And this color is... It is like an everyday color. You can like wear it with anything. And it, it gives you, even if you don't have on any makeup, I have actually worn this without any makeup on. And it kind of likes, wake my face up, like you pay attention. So, this, this is good. Then, um, another high-end lipstick that I have to get some kind of recognition to. At first, I was not a fan because I feel like $22 was too much to pay for a lipstick. I'm just going to be honest. It was just 
it was just too much. I was like, these are just ridiculous. It's, it's like four lipsticks for a hundred dollars. It was just too. It was too much. But I do like them, and I don't think they're worth the price that you pay for them, especially going behind um, the Milani lipsticks. Um, they're awesome. I mean, they're awesome. But I have to say that the Urban Decay Revolutionary lipsticks, they are good quality. And I'm actually wearing the Naked one now. And I like it. This This color is like... I wear this with everything, and I actually will wear this like every day. Uh, I, but I have to take it out of my purse because if I don't, I will wear it every day. I have to branch out to try new things. I really, really like this color. And if I have to choose a lip liner that is um, higher end, I would have to go with the Lorac um, lip liner, and it's number eighteen. And it's it's in there. It's kind of like natural. The color is like natural. And I will swatch it. I'm going to swatch it like right here. And as you can see, I can wear this with um, the Naked Lipstick, the Dolce Vita by NARS. I mean, it's, you can wear it with with, um, with whatever. Alright, so I don't think I did mascara. Is mascara on here? As far as mascara goes, no, it wasn't a mascara on here. But if I had to give it to a higher end mascara, it would have to be the Urban Decay Super Curl Curling Mascara. It is just about time for me to throw this one out and either replace it or try try some other ones that I have. But I love this. It is, to me, it does open up my eyes, but it is hard to get off. It's It's hard to get off. So that is my best of beauty tag for my higher end product of 2013. I hope you like it. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys soon.